hello guys so in this video we will be going to discuss two things first is how we can download an s3 file on aws lambda function and read its content and second we would be discussing how we can perform the partial read operation on the aws s3 files okay so suppose a scenario like uh, we have an file of very heavy size inside the aws s3 bucket and we wanted to read uh, we, do, we don't want it to read the complete file. We only want it to read either a single row from a CSV file or maybe you can say only, you want it to read only the last 100 bytes of the data in that file. So how you can perform that operation. Okay. So let's see on the console. So here uh, I have already created an AWS S3 bucket and in that I have already uploaded two files. The one is of type CSV and one is of type text. So I will go to the Lambda function and I have create, I will create an AWS Lambda function. I will name it as S3 test. I will choose the runtime as Python and keep the all other configuration as default. So meanwhile it is creating, I will, okay. So here I have already pre-written a code uh, to read the file from S3. So I will explain like in this, first we have imported Boto3. So Boto3 is a Python library which is provided by the AWS to access the AWS services easily and quickly from the code. Then after it is asking for what is the bucket name and file name. So after that it is creating S3 client and from that client it is using this get object method to download that file and passing the bucket name and file name. Once we have response, we are kind of decoding this response and like reading the content from this. And after that we have print the file content and just return as successful. And in case any error occur, I have raised an exception. Okay. So I will copy this and add this code inside the uh, like lambda function and replace the bucket name with the actual bucket name so i will uh, yeah so i have i will name file.txt yeah so that's done then after i will deploy it yeah, now it's time to test this. Okay, so it says an error occurred. So basically error is uh, when calling the get object operation access denied. So this error is telling like basically from this error AWS is trying to say this lambda function don't have access to like uh, access this AWS S3 bucket. Okay, so now we will go to the uh, like kind of we are what we will do where we will provide access. Uh, to this AWS Lambda function so that it can download or read the file from this S3 bucket. Okay, so I will go to the configuration section and then after open our open role in the new tab. So in the permission section, I will going to attach a new permission and create an inline policy. So it is asking for which on which service you wanted to like you wanted to provide service so I will click on S3 in the action if you see uh, I will run it again if you see AWS is saying get object operation on the get object operation we got access in it okay so I will add this get object operation in the uh, resource section it is asking for add ARN so I will copy this again type the bucket name any object is basically we kind of we are giving permission to this lambda function to access any object inside this s3 bucket so any file like it has hundred of file it will be accessible through this aws lambda function then after i will create add arn and then after next i will like give this a policy name and then after create policy yeah so this is done now if I go to the go back to this AWS Lambda function and try to run it again, it will be successful. So it says file content re retrieved successfully and it is printing the content as well. So hello world, I am reading data from S3. Okay, so I will I will show you like the data inside this as well. What is the data inside this file? So if I open it, so it says hello world, I am reading data from S3. Okay, now suppose an scenario you want to read the partial data from this only from this file okay so you you don't want to read this hello word okay you know every time uh, like uh, a file we are getting in this s3 bucket the starting would be all always hello word you only wanted to read this data okay so what you will do is you will tell aws to escape initial this length of characters 
तो आई थिंक इट इज काइंड ऑफ ट्वेल्व करेक्टर्स आई मीन स्किप दिस ट्वेल्व बाइट्स इनिशियल एंड देन आफ्टर शो मी शो मी द रेस्ट ऑफ दी बाइट्स ओके सो आई हैव दिस कोड ऑलरेडी प्री रिटर्न सो आई विल कॉपी दिस एंड पेस्ट इट इन दी लेमडा फंक्शन एंड वी विल सी वॉट इन साइड दिस कोड इज सो इन दिस कोड वॉट वी हैव डन इज सो काइंड ऑफ लाइक वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी फर्स्ट वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस लेंथ ऑफ हेलो वर्ड एंड देन आफ्टर वी आर वी आर टेलिंग ए डब्ल्यू एस टू एंड बाइट वुल बी स्टार्ट बाइट प्लस हंड्रेड लाइक हंड्रेड मोर बाइट्स सो आई विल मेक इट इजी आई विल आई विल रिमूव ऑल दिस एंड देन आफ्टर इन दी स्टार्ट वाइट आई सिंपली टाइप ट्वेल्व so i wanted to read the data from starting 12 bytes and up to the 100 so if your file have less than 100 it would be like there will be no issue it will show that number of bytes only okay so i will save it and then after i have i already have this bucket name and file correct file key so i deploy it and if i test it so it says byte range retrieved successfully and data is i am reading data from s3 so this time we wouldn't get hello world okay so that's the advantage of using this uh, range function so uh, previously we are only passing bucket name and the file name but this time we have passed the range function as well okay so this time we have passed i think starting from 12 bytes we wanted to get the data from up to the 100 byte so you can like read the data from last as well from the mid as well so anything you wanted to perform you can perform any operation so that's the beauty of this byte range function okay but if you see if if you like you are performing this operation on a text file this is very good like it is performing very good but if you wanted to read partial data from an csv file so it will be like uh, better if like for this like for the uh, partial data read from an csv file aws provide an uh, different server that is called s3 select okay so i will show you how so here you see i have an file file.csv and you wanted to read the data what is inside it so if i open it so it has downloaded the file and if i open it so kind of it is showing that csv so the first column is 1 2 3 like a just a simple identity then after department name sales hr technology how many number of employees 10 25000 and what is the salary or like it could be anything so 8000 9000 10000 okay so aws provide a new service which is aws s3 select so i will go back so what you need to do is you need to go inside the object action then after query it with s3 select okay you need to select the correct configuration format is csv csv delimiter you can provide so we have comma obviously compression we don't have any compression and output setting like how you wanted to get the output in the json or like any other so we will keep the all the configuration as default and then after we will write select star from s3 object limit 5 okay then this sql query so we got the result so here if you see see the file size is very 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 small 54 byte but if this file would be of size let us suppose uh, 180 mb or more than 1 gb or like it could be anything and you only wanted to see how does the data looks like in this file okay so in that scenario this 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 will be really helpful right or it it, it there could be any number of scenarios for this so what you can do you can like perform this type of sql queries on this you can like select only first two columns only you you can put a where condition as well you can like if you have an integer value you can cast it as well or like put a equal query as well greater than less than query as well so that's the advantage of this uh, s3 select so now let us suppose you wanted to perform the same operation from the aws lambda function so how would you do that so i already have this code written i will go here and copy it and uh, just type it here so what we have done is here so we have the same bucket name and file name like file name this time we have replaced with file.csv so this s3 select is uh, usually uh, works like good for only the three type of format if your file format is csv json or apache format right so apache park i mean so we have the csv file okay it says uh, specify the query you wanted to run so i will use the same query which i have here so i will change it i think my bad i will uh, yeah i, I have not have not copied this correctly i think yeah 
then then after it is created and board three client sort of and then after it is executing select object content okay so in this method it is passing the first it is passing the bucket name what is the file name what is the expression type so expression type is sql so we have passed it here ex sql expression is query so we have passed this kind of this expression here and then after input selection we are sort of passing like what is the uh, file type file type is csv there is no compression and the output we want in the csv format okay and then after once we get the response we are like go inside the payload of that response and then after printing it record and and then it is if it is successful we are returning like s3 query executed successfully and if any error I, we have printed this error okay so i will deploy this and if I test it, so see we get S3 query executed successfully and we got the data as well. So it is the same data that we have in the file. So like it is kind of we are reading the complete file from this but let us suppose you only wanted to read a single file, single I mean single row. So what you will do is you will like put a limit of one and then after test it. Okay. So we, we got only a single single uh, kind of a row so that's the advantage of partial lead so it would be first it would be cost effective the reason is like it would take less time second is it would be uh, cost effective from the network point of view as well so if you are doing this partial lead so data only important data would be transferred to the s3 so the, so the ingress and like the cost will be minimal i mean the networking cost will be minimal and then after third is like uh, sort of uh, like uh, it would be fast as well the reason is if you are downloading 120 mb of file and just uh, wanted to have only access the single row it would be good to use the service right and that would be fast as well yeah so i think that's it if you have any question queries you can post out post it out in the comment section and if you have any feedback please let me know i will be really happy to incorporate at that on incorporate that as well and uh, please do subscribe to this channel. I am con constantly posting out content for AWS.